Hey everyone, it's Game Group Pulp, and welcome back to another Minecraft Real World Showcase video. I'm excited to be returning to this playlist that I used to do pretty frequently a few years ago, and started to bring back with my showcase of the two Dutch Navy ships last month. Today, we're taking a trip back in time and looking at a Byzantine church that was first completed its construction in the year 532. Yes, you heard that right, year 532. The building as we see it in Minecraft will be how it looked in its prime, but this church still exists today. And I can't wait to jump into this building with you all. I hope you, if you enjoy the tour, uh, be sure to hit that like button. The church we are showcasing today is the Hagia Irene, located in Istanbul, Turkey. This church is sometimes known as Saint Irene and is an Eastern Orthodox church located in the outer courtyard of Tokapi Plaza Palace in Istanbul. It is the oldest known church in the city and the only Byzantine church in Istanbul that was never converted into a mosque. The church was used as an arsenal for storing weapons until the 19th century when it was turned into a museum. Like many buildings as old as this one, it has a unique and interesting history that makes it worth learning more about. Before we look into the history of this building, I want to focus on the Minecraft recreation of it and the details that were able to be captured. This building is built by Planet Minecraft creator Nike Foros, who specializes in impressive builds from the Byzantine Empire. Sorry, the Byzantine era, I should say. This is the first building by Nike Foros that I've showcased on my channel, but I don't intend for it to be the last. The first thing that is important to note about this building is that it was not built at the same scale that we are used to seeing on the channel, with Nike, Nike Foros instead going with a 6 to 1 scale where 1 meter is equal to 6 Minecraft blocks. By choosing this scale, they can capture a ton of detail in the building that they would not have otherwise been able to do. This is important when looking at the recreated frescoes that are on the ceiling of the church. These beautiful details look back to when the building was still being used as a church and adds character to the building. When, look, when we are looking at Nike Foros' take on the Hagia Irene, it is very easy for me to choose my favorite part of the building. Looking at how the windows are used to emphasize the details of the building, it is something that truly takes your breath away when you first look at it. When I first looked at this building and was deciding whether I wanted to showcase it, my attention was immediately drawn to the way the light was directed into the church. The main way that this is seen is at the altar where the rear windows are shining directly behind it, illuminating it in a way that looks somewhat magical. The windows also shine a light from the main vaulted dome onto the second floor, which when using shaders draws light rays across the entire main hall of the church. Nike Foros does an excellent job of explaining the history of the build and their inspiration for the interior decorative design on their Planet Minecraft page. And with that in mind, let's take a look at what they had to say. Hagia Irene, or Holy Peace, was the first church to be built in Constantinople and likely served as the cathedral and the capital until the erection of Hagia Sophia in the year 537. During the Nika Revolt, Hagia Irene, like many other buildings, burned down owing to its timber roof and was consequently rebuilt by Justinian as a domed basilica. This structure had two barrel vaults to the east and west of the dome, a tympana to the south and north, aisles, galleries, and a narthex, exonarthex as well perhaps. Yet even during his lifetime, Justinian saw another fire devastate the church, destroying the atrium and parts of the Nertharax in, 50, er, in 564. So it was rebuilt once more. This, however, was, not, was by far not the end of the calamities for the storied place of worship. Further down the line in the 8th century, an earthquake wiped out the entire upper part of the church, collapsing the dome, the barrel vaults, and the galleries. Under Constantine V, aptly named Copernimos, Hagia Irene was rebuilt yet again, but this time its design was changed almost beyond recognition. Instead of a domed basilica so prominent among Justiniac designs, it morphed into a first of the kind cross in the uh, into a first of, it, of the kind cross in square structure that today is almost defi the defining feature of Orthodox churches. The southern and northern walls were thickened, and the west barrel vault was replaced by an ellipsoidal dome. I don't know if I'm saying that one right, but We'll go with it. Finally, upon their conquest of the Queen of Cities, the Ottoman Turks further modified both the appearance and purpose of the structure, transforming it into an armory, adding a second peristyle in the atrium, blocking windows, and adding new rooms. The period between 537 and 558 that I generally portray in these last builds is scarce in information or evidence on Hagia Irene. Procopios mentions her in a passing remark and there aren't many more period sources above its plan, let alone the mosaic decoration. Neither does the present scholarship seem to have an abundance of interest in Hagia Irene in the 6th century, not compared to the Hagia Sophia at the very least. 
Sursic is the only source that I found that deals with the church's appearance in the 6th century, and his plans were instrumental in the creation of this building. It is, however, somewhat riddled with ambiguities, in particular regarding the, narthe the narthex and or exonarthex, as well as the shapes of the interior piers. Other design choices were influenced by Hagia Sophia, of course, as well as reconstructions of St. John and Ephesus and the Holy Apostles. For the interior decoration, I refer to Hagia Sophia's Justiniac mosaics for the aisles and galleries, as well as the narthex. The nave and apse mosaics, on the other hand, were heavily influenced by San Vitale in Ravenna, bringing in busier ornamental designs while add, uh, also adding icons of Theotokos for the apse and Christ Pantocrator for the dome. The latter is pure artistic license since it's highly unlikely that a similar mosaic would have been put up in the 6th century. However, after trying out a few mosaics copied from Ravenna, I came to the conclusion that a Pantocrator mosaic looked better, so here it is. The atrium is probably the most obscure part of the church, as it was remodeled in 564 after being burnt down. Sursic indicates a potential plan for a, a Justinic atrium, yet I presume it refers to its 564 in iteration. One clue I found regarding the atrium designs is, is precisely that it burned down so thoroughly, perhaps suggesting that it had a timber roof and not masonry vaults. Other than that, I modeled the atrium on the atrium at the Hagia Sophia. So with that, we have a better understanding of the interior palette seen in the church, and I think it turned out very nice. Nike Foros used interesting blocks that I've never used before to make a blended palette that shimmers with the use of the warped hyphae. The other blocks used in the ceiling are obsidian, nether warped block, and blocks of gold. For the walls, various prismarine, terracotta, and striped jungle, stripped jungle logs were used to create a visually appealing palette. Overall, I really enjoyed looking at this build. It is a style that I have not experimented much with myself, and this is an excellent rendition of a 6th century church by Nike Foros that does make me want to jump into Minecraft and try and build something similar myself. I hope that you all enjoyed watching the video and, look, and looking at this beautiful build. If you did, be sure to check out Nike Foros' Planet Minecraft page for this build and many more excellent builds from this era. If you're a new viewer on my channel, be sure to subscribe to catch future content. And if you're a returning viewer and you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and share the content with your friends so that we can continue to grow our community. If you're looking for more videos like this, be sure to check out the Real World Showcase playlist for more recreated building showcases. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. My name is Game Pulp, and this has been a Minecraft Real World Showcase video. I'll catch you guys all next time. Have a good one.